respect the niggas. Uh, Every yeah. neighborhood was doing that. Rockstar, y'all had them. No, we, no, we, no, we for sure got them. Y'all had them too. We had them. They can talk about, ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. This nigga is so good. This nigga is so good. A few of them all had them right now. <laughs> oh, man. Put some with it, ooh-wee. You oh, are in the store right now. This nigga stupid, bro. What's wrong with this nigga white, bro? This nigga be on go, 24. Hey, that nigga like that all day. <laughs> all day, girl. That shit ain't no surprise. Rambo knew me when I was a little pup. <laughs> little bitty pup. You know, you know what them niggas used to grab your head and tell you to swing and you couldn't hit them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come here, little nigga. Well, they just got on my ass over there in that room for talking about Pac with no real nigga, boy. Niggas hate He wasn't no real nigga. But now, nah, uh, don't even come in there. Don't come in there, help. So y'all heard Wack 100. He's saying Tupac was no real G. And like y'all, <coughs> y'all might not never hear this a lot, but I be tuning in to Wack 100. Wack 100 got a distaste for um, Tupac for some reason, and... In certain aspects, I can damn understand that shit because, like, Tupac tried to betray, or, uh, well, I ain't gonna say betray or infiltrate. I'ma just say, like, tried to be Dale and a part of something that he wasn't, um, grew up in, that he didn't grow up in. Far as, like, the blood politics, the Piru politics and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So, in certain aspects, I feel Wack 100, because that's the only reason why he can be, like, um, having any type of distaste for um, Tupac. But I look at it like this, like, I really was a real deal crip, right? And the, some of these individuals, I ain't going to say all, but some of these individuals, when they claim they crips and shit like that, I have a distaste for them as well, because it's like, yo, it's easy for somebody to claim just because of their family member or relatives or somebody that they was close and cool with or their peer in the streets and shit that took upon their lifestyle when they was incarcerated and brought it home. Now that's your partner, that's your buddy. So now you automatically down with the game. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I look at on um, majority of um this gang shit, you get what I'm saying? Like, I really took that shit serious. Like, I threw away everything. Red, burgundy, you go through my old videos, I, I speak on it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I took it serious. So, anybody screaming like they crip, I don't care if you a trade or whatever set you may claim of crip. I really got a distaste for certain people because I really took that shit serious. I got visible tattoos, so if a person ever seen me, they wouldn't question what gang I was in. They'll see, like, yo. He be a roller sixty. You get what I'm saying? He he got down broadcast and his set, his game and shit like that. Like I won't hide the shit in a land amongst fake ass bloods and shit. So my cribbing was real, you get what I'm saying? So I be feeling whack one hundred when he be stating sometimes like Tupac wasn't a real um gang member and all of this and that, but as far as a rider, I look at Tupac as a rider because if he fuck with you, he got love for you, then he ride with you and shit. So, with that man said, to me, I ain't needed. I had to walk nigga, down like. Nigga, I'm hey, the one, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm the, the, the nigga shot the nigga. That's the, what I use you as. I use you as my talk. the world with that shit. Them niggas was mad the motherfucker. I said, Pop, what no motherfucking gangster? They went hey. crazy. Uh oh. <laughs> they went crazy when I said that shit. Hey, nigga, it was a picture of him. Brock, right, you on, um, but you bullshit, bro. And then I put the picture That's why you think I had the bed with Lick that. You say he was laying in bed with what? With his shirt off with a man, a little sexy. We're going to change Pac with a little sexy. Hey, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hip hop trend. Hip hop trend. You on it right now. You want to see it? Hey, that was a nigga running here. So, is it um, a picture that's been floating around um, the internet the past couple of years and shit, right? Of Tupac in a hotel room or whatever. and one of his homeboys from the outlaws and shit like that, both of them laying in the bed with, you know, not naked and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, you might be, I, I can't even speak on it because I won't there, but I done seen pictures before where 
guys like back in the days that wasn't um you know like they was aware of their mas masculinity and shit like that like you know some people look down upon certain shit because in other people in some other eyes they'd be like yo they gay or something you get what I'm saying but Tupac land a certain way to the point where like he just posing for a picture and the dude behind him, but they laying down and shit, but it didn't look like nothing sexual, but you can make something sexual out of that picture if you really wanted to, per se, but um, <clears throat> I might find it and then add it with this video and shit, you know, along while I'm talking, but other than that, that's what WAC 100 talking about. Okay, I'm going to peep you on. I'm sorry, well, we gave you room. Let's go. Uh, nah, man, PTR that shit, man. Nah, PTR that shit. That's not Fuck that shit. PTR that shit. That's Fuck it, nigga. PTR that shit. Hold on, let's go. 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 let us go I'm going to stop just doing any type of shorts. Like, I just be, you know, um, mostly when you go tune into my shorts, this is for subscribers and not subscribers from here on out. When you all tune into my shorts, I'm going to at least have two to three shorts every day. And they're going to be comical to the point where you're going to look at it and be like, yo, this motherfucker crazy as hell, yo, sir, I'm as funny as hell, yo. You get what I'm saying? Yo, watch, watch what I tell you. Y'all gonna die laughing at my motherfucking shorts, I'm telling y'all. So y'all stay tuned to your motherfuckers, yo. Hey, guys, one day I will Nigga, that nigga, listen, right here. Yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga. Right here, this is gay as it is come, nigga. I don't know. Uh, All right, I'm gonna blow it up real big. Uh, wait, was it a movie? Like, was no, nigga, movie? this is homeboy, nigga. What? That's your man's, nigga. Yeah, so if y'all doing it like what? that, y'all doing it like that in the West Beach? Nah, you got it fucked up, Wax. Stop it. Is y'all doing it like that? No, nah, you act like that's cool. <laughs> nah, that ain't cool. Oh, dear. <laughs> this nigga is up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why y'all... <laughs> Wax, Wax come off as like... He's like the founder of Clubhouse, which he is. And Wax 100 probably got some type of percentage in it, so... And he probably go to the clubhouse um, execs and be like, yo, y'all see, I'm making this thing popular. I'm moving and shaking this clubhouse because when y'all heard clubhouse, y'all mainly heard WAC 100. Fuck all the other names and entities. WAC 100 is basically like the face of clubhouse. You get what I'm saying? So I say all of that to say this, like, I got a clubhouse as well. But I don't know how to use it for us. Like, if ain't nobody really rocking with me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, then what, how would they rock with me on Clubhouse? Because it's going to be the same shit. I want to be on there blunt talking about what I don't like and, you get what I'm saying, giving my opinions on shit. But WAC 100 got a whole lot of yes men. Basically, is why I brought this up. So, I never heard nothing but probably one person go against WAC 100. That was a part of um, the crew and shit. You get what I'm saying? Everybody else pretty much like, okay, I'm gonna tread lightly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna agree with him, even though I disagree, just so I can um, remain part of this um, platform because it's giving me um, by you white 100 calling my name throughout the little sessions and shit. That's gonna make other people know me and shit. So that's how I look at that shit. So. And I don't even know what type of bread these motherfuckers get from Clubhouse other than notoriety and shit like that, but. Fuck with me, bro. Rambo, how long I been like this, Rambo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, bro, what day, Chappelle say? Nah, that was real. <laughs> in on pop. <laughs> bro, that's his man, man. Hey man, take this picture. That was Money B. That was Money B. That was in Pop. Money B. Money B. Money B. Money B. Money B. Nah, this nigga crazy, man. That was in Pop. Money B. Where'd it go? Okay, come on. Can't hear that. Like that.
that was money beef boy. That was in Pac. I was just Pac looked shocked in the video like and he took two men, he laid back on his chest and took a and posed for a picture. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, if you justify, maybe you with it too. Nah. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Mm-hmm. You said what? He justified. He 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 too. Ain't nobody justified. I'm saying it's money D that was like I wouldn't give a shit if that money be a G O D. That's not, that's not what it's supposed to be. Oh nigga. Money B G O D. That's not what it's supposed to be. Bars. Look at that bars. So wet one hundred clown and two pop over a picture that he took years ago with his homeboy and they he laying back on his homeboy chest while they on the bed or something in a hotel room. Probably just got finished smashing or running the train over Breezy or something. You get what I'm saying? And somebody taking a picture because it is hard to say, you get what I'm saying, but Wack 100 going to always say something. And then you best believe it's several people that's in the um in the session and shit, right, that really want to say, like, no, nah, man, it, it ain't even got to be like that. Like, them motherfuckers probably was just taking a picture or... And then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people be secure with their masculinity and shit like that to the point where others might look at something as feminine or hom- homosexual acts and shit like that. But the whole time, it just really isn't that. It's just, you know what I'm saying? So, Wack 100 speaking on goddamn Tupac. He don't look at Tupac as a real gangster and shit like that. You hear what I'm saying? And he basically spent um, the clubhouse time speaking on the infamous picture of Tupac at his home was just laying, you know, laying in the bed and shit. They weren't naked or nothing. They had the clothes on, but both of them had their shirt off and shit. Like they were taking a picture or something. So, you can take some of uh, increment and make that motherfucker goddamn big as a goddamn mountain and, um, whack, we're dealing with whack 100, so. Sir, early.